to know the worms around us, how to identify them, and what their ecology is. In our garden landscape, we have several worms. We know about night crawlers, even though we may not see them. But if you want to know what they look like, you can go to any fishing store and see those chunky worms that people really like to use to catch fish. They make very deep vertical burrows in the soil, and sometimes at night we can see them when they come up to the surface to eat. Most other times we just see their middens or castings which they leave at the surface. They are very large, pretty juicy, and mature worms will have a reproductive organ called the clitellum, and you can see that band that goes around their body. Sometimes you may see smaller red earthworms, especially when you're in the garden digging. They're usually in the top three to four inches, they're skinnier, and they're red. Mature worms will also have a clitellum that goes partially around its body and it's segmented. You may see that like that little spot there. We also have something called red wigglers. These are not often found in the garden, but they are specialists when it comes to decom decomposing and compost. So people may keep them inside or in containers as vermicomposting worms to help them break down that organic matter, table scraps, and things like that. Another worm that we are most concerned about though is the invasive jumping worms. These are found in gardens, especially when new mulch is brought in or when new plants are brought in. These are different from our regular worms that we see in our garden, like those night crawlers or the red earthworms, because their behavior is such that they they jump. They don't have any legs, but they can thrash and propel their bodies out of the soil. They also get quite large at the end of the year. They're annual colonies, so they start off as little tiny eggs or cocoons. And so this time of year in the spring, they are not very big. If you find a large earthworm, it is not going to be an invasive jumping worm. They can be identified from our red worms or our night crawlers because they are darker in color. They have a rubbery feel and kind of a metallic sheen. And if you see a mature jumping worm, its clitellum goes all the way completely around its body and it's flush. It's not like a saddle where it's a raised segmented bump. It is a cloudy gray, flattened band and it's closer to the front of its body than the middle like some of our European earthworms. Jumping worms live at the soil surface underneath piles of leaf litter and mulch. They can break down that matter so quickly. The reason we don't want invasive jumping worms in our landscape beds is because they really break down those nutrients and leave our soil looking and feeling like spent coffee grounds, which is not a good environment for plants to grow in. If you see some worms and you're wondering which is which, touch it and see if it jumps or if it wiggles around like a snake. If it is those jumping worms, you want to remove them, put them in a bag and discard them in the trash. I hope this helps you identify your worms and make sure you can identify which ones are the good worms that we want there and which ones are the ones we don't want there.